If you want to apply a single effect on your audio clip and want to do a whole bunch of work, then parametric equalizer is for you. You can of course EQ your audio clip. You can use it as a low pass filter. You can use it as a high pass filter and you can also use it as a notch filter. So let's see how you can use parametric equalizer in Adobe Premiere Pro. Here in Adobe Premiere Pro, I have already made a sequence. Let's record a sample audio clip. So let's select my microphone from here. So that is my microphone and then if i click here it will start recording right so let's record hey guys welcome to a new adobe premiere pro tutorial today we are going to learn how you can use parametric equalizer in adobe premiere pro so without wasting any more time let's get started so that is our sample audio clip if i zoom into that clip so if i play it back now Hey guys, welcome to a new Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. Today we are going to learn the level is a little bit low. I can just increase the volume, how you can use parametric equalizer in Adobe Premiere Pro. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So that is our audio clip. Let's go to effects panel from here. And then if I go to audio effects, this section, and then filter and EQ, we can use parametric equalizer from here, right? Click and drag this effect on top of your audio clip. And then go to FX control panel. If you don't see, go to window and from here, enable FX control. Then you will see this panel. From here, if you click on edit, it will open a new panel. And from here, you can control the settings of your parametric equalizer, right? So the first thing is here, we can see some preset. We can click here and then we can, of course, use some preset if we want, right? Usually I use vocal enhancer preset and then I tweak some settings according to my voiceover, right? So you can do that. Also, you can enable or disable your parametric equalizer section. The parametric equalizer whole band is divided into different segments, right? So if I disable that, you can see that portion have been removed, right? Again, if I just disable it, I can do it and you can enable the section just by clicking here. So the first thing you can use it as a high pass filter and low pass filter. If you click here on HP section, that is high pass filter. So here you can see below 40 hertz has been removed right so you can control the section just by clicking and dragging it here so if i play it back and if i show you hey guys welcome to a new adobe premiere pro tutorial today we are going to learn how you so can you can see it is making my voiceover a little bit thinner because we have reduced the frequency below 280 hertz right so you can use it as a high pass filter i'll just keep it maybe 80 or 70 hertz and then you can use it as a low pass filter if you click here then you can see that portion have been removed you can change the frequency that you want to remove suppose if you place it here then the frequency after 25 34 will be reduced right if i play it back parametric equalizer in adobe Premiere. you can Pro. see the so with voiceover is sounding very muddy you can also do that right so let's keep it maybe here maybe sixteen thousand, right so that will act like a low pass filter and again we have learned notch filter right you can also use it as a notch filter suppose this frequency of my voiceover is a little bit prominent i want to reduce the gain of that frequency a bit right what i can do i can click and drag it here and then i can just adjust the position of my segment and then let's make it a little bit higher then i can change the width of that frequency right so let's play and see time let's get started suppose i want to decrease the portion from here i can just decrease the gain this much right so it will act like a notch filter again suppose you want to remove some harsh portion of your voiceover let make it very narrow then increase the gain hey guys and welcome see. to a new adobe premiere pro tutorial today we are going to learn how you can use parametric equalizer in adobe premiere pro so with that way so this portion of my voiceover is very very harsh so i want to decrease the gain of that portion so that it sound a little bit smoother i can just decrease the gain just by this much right so that will act like a notch filter so you get the idea again if you want to add clarity to your voiceover i can just disable the low pass filter and i can increase this section a bit maybe this much and then if i play it back time let's get started again if i play it back 
Hey guys, welcome to a new Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. Today we are going to learn. You can see it has added some clarity to my voice, right? So if I play it back without that filter, let's see how does that sound. I, I'm disabling this one and let's play it back. Hey guys, welcome to a new Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. And let's see how does it sound with the effect. Let's enable that and play it back. Hey guys, welcome to a new Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. Today we are going to learn. So that is how you can use a uh, parametric equalizer to EQ your voiceover and to use it as a high pass filter, low pass filter, and of course, as a notch filter, right? I usually use this one, which is vocal enhancer. If I click here, I can select that. And if I play it back, hey guys, welcome. It has added some bass here, but I don't want that. And I can just, lower the frequency of high pass filter right and i can increase this one a little bit so usually this is my go to eq for my voiceover if i play it back hey guys welcome to a new adobe premiere pro tutorial this is before hey guys welcome to a new adobe premiere pro tutorial and this is the after hey guys welcome to a new adobe premiere pro tutorial today we are going to learn how so that is the basic how you can use the parametric equalizer of course you can use a bunch of parametric equalizer if you need suppose i want to use it as a high pass filter again if i click and drag another one then i can use it as a eq for my voiceover so that's the basic you can stack a lot of parametric equalizer together to achieve your desired result so i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up if you know this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro or video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more awesome video just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye